I didn't think I was gonna vlog today, but um, ooh, I'm on my phone because I didn't bring my camera, but I just paid these boys a hundred dollars, okay, to wipe my car down because my car it just gets so dusty in my garage, so I um you know, it just needs to be dusted down sometimes. So I saw them and they like, can I wash your windows and all that? So I'm like, cool. I'm like, actually, you know what? Can you just wipe all the dust off my car? They, um, I mean, it was like four of them. So I just handed one of the kids a hundred dollars. Cause I'm like, okay, they got $20. They can go get them some food and you know, have a good day. So I come out, I'm like, make sure it looks good. I mean, it don't, it looks, they got everything they could reach. That's the problem. Like the, my hood, it's like little spots of dust. My windows ain't clean. They had the Windex. I'm like, damn, y'all got me for my hundred dollars. All right, so I'm back from Target and I came home to some packages and I didn't really get much at Target. And I'm really proud of myself because I didn't go in there and get a bunch of random things like I usually would. But that's mainly because I can't really carry a lot of stuff. And I got a bunch of these hangers because I needed more for my closet. I'm still like hanging up stuff and trying to figure out what I'm, you know, going through my clothes. And I just bought one of these. I know it's kind of random, but I have another one and I was just kind of like, I might, it's better if it has two. Like when I have people over putting stuff on top of it or whatever. Then I just got some like cleaning stuff and these i've never seen these at target actually but um i ordered some on amazon which is what i usually do but for some reason they did not come on friday when they're supposed to come and i had um, cooked a bunch of food and i really didn't have anywhere to put it so i had to grab some of these my kitchen is still looking crazy because i still haven't cleaned up from cooking yesterday i already opened um my package i now i get packaged so much like i forget to like you know share it but i'll show you guys what i got because um i think i got the other thing i was waiting for so i'll show you after i open these ones this is from sex so and this isn't for home either. This is a pair of shades I've been waiting on. Oh my God. Okay, these are so cute though. I can't wait to wear these. And I can't take off my hat because, well I can, but my hair looks so crazy. Aren't these so cute? I've been seeing these and I finally, finally got them. These are Balenciaga and they're so, so cute. I just love how they're, you can't really see what. Super cute, I love these. Okay, so I got these. Um, I was waiting for more home stuff. Okay, so this is from West Elm. So I got the other pillows came on Thursday, I think it was, and I was waiting for these because these were on back order. So these are the cases for the smaller pillows and this is what the square one looks like i ended up actually um ordering more of those pillows because i didn't realize well i kind of knew that i was going to need more but i just wanted to see how many more so i ended up getting four just to see how it looked and obviously i need more for the middle I don't even know about the end, but yeah. So I ordered two more of the square ones. And then I also got my other, the rest of my glasses came. So I kind of rearranged a little bit. I put those other flutes right here and then it goes flutes. And these were the glasses that I, were wa I was waiting for, the um, coupe glasses. They are huge. Like I didn't know that they were this big. I think it's even bigger than the wine glass, but I feel like this could be used like as a margarita glass too, kind of, and like a cocktail. This is a big drink though, super cute. Okay, it's a different day, same sweatshirt, <laughs> don't judge me. But I'm up about to get some breakfast, um, even though I'm about to go meet someone at Starbucks. So, um, but yeah, I'm trying a new breakfast place. I'm starving. Yeah, so I have to head to Summerlin to meet with this lady that's gonna help me transform my balcony into my little lounge. No, I'm playing. But seriously, she's gonna help me um, 
you know, just I just have this vision that I wanted for my balcony for probably like two years, maybe more. But um, I just haven't got around to it because I had a guy that said he could do it, but he was kind of unsure. So I found a company that can actually do what I'm asking for. This is what they do. They do it for parties and stuff. But I'm like, no, I don't want it for a party. I want it for life. So I'm about to meet with her and she's going to tell me if we're able to do it. I hope that we can because it's something outside and um, it gets really windy in Vegas and on my balconies. So I'm just like, I hope I can keep it, you know, together. I already got my new rug that I'm going because I'm going to be switching up my whole balcony. I've been saying this. You already know. You're probably tired. You're probably just like, OK, just do the changes, then show us. Listen. It takes, it takes time, especially when you have to find things that go. Like, I don't know. It takes a long time to furnish a place. Even if you got the money and you're ready, it's like you're not on your own time, especially when you order stuff. That's why I'm starting to order stuff now because I want it to all be here, like, by June, before June, really. But, um... Yeah, so I'm ordering things and, you know, um, trying to shop around for things, but you don't always find everything. So it's like you kind of buying things one by one. We'll see what happens. I'll let you guys know if she can make my vision come true. It's hot now, but um, let me turn on this air. You guys are just going to have to hear the air. I just had my meeting with the lady that is going to do my wall on my balcony and the meeting went so good like she's cool and she isn't charging as much as because the thing is like my balcony was supposed to oh my gosh that car is so nice um yeah so my wall was supposed to have been done like you know what I'm not even gonna say that because <laughs> everything happens when it's supposed to happen the person that I had before that was gonna help me um, he just didn't seem sure of himself and he's never done this before she also has never done this before um, like at a home like she usually does what she does for parties but I just want it for my house as I was saying but um yeah so she just seems really cool and I'll link her information after everything is said and done and I know she does a good job but I'm really excited because she has a lot of ideas and you know just seems really sure of herself like she's not you know like oh uh, maybe we could do this maybe we she knows what she's doing I'm excited to see how that turns out I will let you guys know more when I see her this is her texting me actually so she's saying that she's gonna bring a mock-up of the wall to my place and then um, yeah so I'll be able to see if it's something that I want to do dang so now I gotta kind of clean up a little bit first place we are headed today is my five-week post-op appointment I can't believe it's been five weeks I looked at my calendar today and I'm like April is over it's about to be May I feel like five weeks is a long time to um, like recover but it kind of isn't you know what I mean like that first even that first week is kind of like you is just starting but um, like I said I feel good it's still under my armpit area is really just taking longer to recover because that's where it's pulled the tightest and I'm moving around so I'm gonna see what he says about it um, he might say he have to he might have to put like sutures back in it that's what they call it basically kind of like stitches but they like fall out by themselves and um, I don't know if I do that I really can't move because they already did fall out by themselves because I do move in that area a lot so um, yeah I don't know I'm gonna see what he says today I'm excited to go because I just want to see like what's up like when can I have a drink 
because I have not drank since I got home from my birthday trip. Not like I'm like a drink fiend, but it's kind of like, I just want to like go out and like go to dinner or go to brunch or lunch and get me like a drink and just like relax. But I've refrained pretty much from doing anything that was on the list of not to do before and after surgery, only because my, my body is not fully, um, you know, healed. Not even fully healed, like, the because I won't be fully fully healed for like months and months like maybe like six months but I mean I could still do things and I would be able to have you know I could drink I could do you know what I was doing but while my wounds are not completely closed I don't want to do anything that's gonna make it take longer because I want to hang out you know what I mean so I'm cool with just being down laying low for right now until it's done even though people are like you know ask me to come out do stuff but I'm like no because I'm not about to set myself behind and they really have to be down on bed rest or something you know what I mean so I just rather you know just chill until he's like you're good and actually until I see that those wounds are closed all the way they're still like you know pink like no I need it to be like completely closed. Yeah, so pretty much I just been, y'all see what I be doing, nothing. <laughs> I be chilling. I try to get you guys up some content um, as much as I can. I'll try to make it more interesting once everything is good. But you guys gotta help me out. Like, what do you guys wanna see? But yeah, I'll check in with you guys once I get there and I'll let you guys know what happens. My appointment was at 2.30. 20 no 215 and it's now 315 and I still have not seen the doctor I still haven't seen the doctor I'm waiting um I saw the nurse and there's really nothing to do with my underarm where I told you it's still not fully closed and they said that is super common for this um surgery in that area because i told you it's just a place that we're moving it's really moist because it's the armpit and um there's really nothing i just you know go about life and then just let it heal that's really all i can do um i guess like i'm doing everything like right that i can do there's really no way to put a rush on it they're not going to help it as in like how I was saying to stitch it or anything. They're like, no, that it looks that how it's supposed to look basically. Um, so yeah, I'm just, just, it's the waiting game now. Okay. I feel so much better after that visit because I finally got to see the doctor again. The last time I was here, I only saw a nurse. He made me feel a lot better because he explained to me that my wounds are not, my wounds, my incisions, my incisions are not open. They are like, they're not healed because when I look at them, it I see like white like I I thought I was like looking in my body like I thought it was like a hole still in my body but apparently it's just like just not completely healed and it still kind of leaks so that's why I was like okay trying to be extra extra careful well I should be but you know and like um he said i need to start lifting my arms up not all the way because that's gonna be too much tension but like i need to start like doing like this because um your arms can get like stuck you form like bands and like your arm is just used to being stuck down so i'm like okay i don't want that to happen but the reason why i didn't want to lift them was because i thought it was a hole and I'm thinking I'm going to stretch it out like underneath my armpit. So I didn't want to like rip it. That's what I was thinking. So he let me know like, no, it's your skin is intact, but it just needs to heal. And just basically explaining what I've already told you guys that the armpit is very, um, 
hard to heal because that's where your arms like attached and you're moving and also a factor is that you're really moist under there so you kind of want it to be like dried out to heal so they were basically telling me to sleep like still keep my arms up which i have been doing but i feel like when i wake up they're not up like that they're down so i need to try to like chill when i'm like getting in my bed because i am in my bed a lot i try to be at least when i'm um done running around i try to get i try to just chill because i just want my body to heal so that's basically like all you can do is just rest and don't do much and basically that's it but i feel so much better knowing that i'm not open like <laughs> that i don't have holes in my arm like oh that was just so it was, i was just really really nervous so yeah that makes me feel a lot better i don't have to come back for another four weeks and hopefully by then they're completely closed hopefully earlier honestly but um yeah that just makes me feel so much better though i'm still probably not gonna drink alcohol though because i want these things to just be nice. done okay so i was about to get ready for bed and everything but then i forgot i have all these boxes to open well not all these i just have about one two three four five five and hopefully it's home stuff because that's what i really want to share with you guys but we'll see because i don't really remember what i ordered so here we go this is the first one this is from it does not say so let's see Oh, it is something for the house. A little boring to look at, but it's a vase. Let me rinse this out. Just a second. So this is what it looks like. It's like a little hexagon. I thought it was cute. It might go on my counter instead of the vase that I have right now. Um, I'm gonna go probably tomorrow and get some flowers so you can see how it looks. But I thought it was super cute, so I can always use another vase. I hate these foam things. These are so messy. Next box. Shelby. I don't know. I've been going to sleep so late. Like 3 o'clock. I just be up. I don't even know why. And I still get up early though. Well, not early. I still get up at like, well, I get up around 9. If I go to sleep at like 3. But I mean, that's early, even though, but I'm lounging pretty much the most of the day, so. And getting stuff done around the house. Ooh, some makeup. It's not house stuff, but whatever. <laughs> so this is an old palette. Ouch. Okay, so this is kind of, I think it's an old palette. This is the Jackie Ina palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I'm embarrassed to say that I recently, like this year, was it this year? Well, you know, like 2020 that um, have gotten into Jackie Ina because, and I say I'm embarrassed to say because I should know who she is. But I don't know, it took me a while and I basically like binge watched all her videos and I'm like, you know what, I like her. I wanna support her, okay? So I seen like an old video, she did it like a look using this palette. Oops, oh, like of course her palette. So super cute. I can always use another palette. Really don't need it, but I'll definitely use this. And then I just got um, some brow scissors, some new brow scissors and some new tweezers. I just got, I don't know, I'm kind of weird with um, brow kit stuff because I like some in my beauty room office space. I like to have some in there because sometimes I sit down and do my makeup in there and I like to have some in my bathroom because that's where I do my facials and I like to do my brows when I do my facials and then I need a good pair also to travel with. So I needed another pair to keep in here. That was actually good. So that's why I got that. So that's all I got from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Is William Sonoma, just a second. I think I lied to you guys. 
oh yeah see no i didn't order from there this is west elm and this is the um last two pillowcases that i need for my couch because right now i have four on my couch and i got two more just to um balance it out i still might need a couple more i'm not sure but i'm just buying them kind of like as i go so i don't have to return them so i can see it and then just like see how much i need or whatever so um yeah so these are gonna go on the couch and i'll probably do these tonight and i'll show you guys tomorrow how it's looking um yeah so i'll put these on the couch in a minute so one of these boxes probably this one is the actual inserts the pillow inserts so i got the wrong pillows oh wait oh I think they're folded. Cause these look like the small pillows. Just a second, let me see. Oh, Whew. okay. Okay, these are the right ones. Perfect. Oh, I should not have done that. I know good and well. And the last big one is from Amazon. Um, I'm not sure. Let's see. It's probably a bunch of different things. Cause you know how Amazon sends you one box with all your orders? I think this is what that is. Oh, uh, I got an air fryer. I forgot. Whew. Okay. So I have, I'm late to the air fryer game, but I finally got one because I've been cooking a lot lately. So I just feel like it will cut down on time. I got a smaller one. I hope this is small. This box is kind of big because my kitchen is not like huge. Like I don't want like a bunch of, even though I'm not going to leave it out, but still like when I store it, I don't want it to be all bulky and everything, but I thought it was cute. My kitchen is white. You guys know. And then I just got this white one. I don't even know how to use it, but I'm gonna learn. So it seems pretty easy. I'll be watching, you know, cooking videos and stuff like that. But that's one of the things in this box. And then also, what is this? Hold on. What? Oh, I got like a little rug. I didn't really get this for anything. It's more for like, cause in front of my mirrors, this one and the one in my closet, it's nothing um, like on the ground. Like I feel like, I know you guys are gonna be like, what the heck? But if I wanna like take a picture, you know, like sitting down, I need something to sit on. So I just got this little rug. It was cheap, so. No big deal, but it's just like a little area rug, long, and I'll just bring this out if I have to. It's kind of like a walkway. Like this would look cute in my room, like on the walkway to my bathroom, but it will get so dirty walking over it. So I definitely wouldn't do that. Like the rug in my under my bed right now is like this, and I'm getting rid of it because it just gets dirty too, too fast. It's really hard to keep clean, and you can't like vacuum it or anything, so yeah i'm gonna get rid of that but yeah i just thought this would look cute you know just for it's more for like photos to be honest or it could maybe go in my beauty room like underneath the desk because it won't get that dirty because well my feet go under there i don't know but i'm good i'm i have use for this that's everything that i got from downstairs today i actually i'm still expecting some things but i don't really remember um it's for the house for sure but um yeah i know you guys are like dang she didn't do nothing in this video but be in her car and open boxes but <sighs> this is my life right now so i'm just sharing that with you also yesterday i didn't really talk um I was mainly talking about my arms. I didn't say nothing about my face because you guys remember I did get this done. And um, 
it's healing good like the scars are good all they said was like to massage like the little uh incisions um they're super small like you can't really see them but um i am still swollen under here if you guys you guys will notice like if i look certain ways well if i hold it out like it's it's still so good but but i'm really swollen like right here and it hurts so that's why i'm kind of like you know i don't want to like press it it's like right at the throat part it's like rock rock hard super hard i don't know if that's like fluid or just like the swelling but yeah but it pretty much moved back it's not really like in the chin area anymore it's all like from here back and i could feel it like i still can't like uh you know like um put my head like all the way back because it starts pulling and it's just not comfortable but i don't have to wear my head thing anymore so i just pretty much just let it go but um yeah sometimes i see it though like from the side i can see like where it's swelling but that's all good but i'm gonna get ready for bed right now and then i'm gonna wake up in the morning and run a couple errands with you guys see you guys in the morning This is what I just want to show you guys really quickly what the pillows look like. So that's how they look. And I kind of think I need one more right here. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments if I need one more or should I just leave it like that? I also kind of put some stuff on my shelf. As you can see, I put the flowers up top. Those are probably going to stay there. Those vases, I might switch out flowers if I feel like it. Um, but right now, I kind of like how these hydrangeas are looking. I'm not sure if all this stuff is staying either, but I kind of need something there just so I can get an idea of what I need and how much I want on each shelf and stuff like that. So I'm going to figure out something to make my new air fryer and I'll let you guys know what I make, but I'm going to end this vlog right here and start a new one tomorrow because I have another meeting with the lady who's gonna help me with my balcony and my rug just came, so that's a good thing. So as soon as we get all that handled, of course, I'll let you guys see what I'm doing out there. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.